Hey friends, welcome back to Blooming with Miss B. Today, we're talking money. First things first, when we're talking money, we're talking dollars and we're talking cents. Dollars is more self-explanatory. We have the $1 bill, $5 bill, $10 bill, $20 bill, sometimes $50 bill, $100 bill, if you're lucky, $2 bill. So the dollar bills are more self-explanatory, but cents is where things get a little tricky. When we're talking dollar bills, we see that money sign. So that tends to be the full dollar, the total amount. But when we're talking just the cents, just the little pieces after the period, that symbol means cents. And today we're gonna be mostly talking about cents. So there are quite a few different coins out there. So we're gonna start from the lowest and work our way up. So the lowest one is the penny. This is worth one cent. It is different from any other coin because it is the only one that is copper. It has that brown tint to it. Next is going to be the nickel. This is a little bigger and it's worth five cents. After the nickel, we got the dime. The dime is the smallest coin and it is worth 10 cents. This one's one of my favorite ones to use because it makes counting by tens super easy. After the tens, we have the quarter. That's the most common one, and a quarter is worth 25 cents, and it's the biggest coin that is commonly used. So these are all the common coins that we're going to be practicing today. Now, there's a very important part about adding cents. So you might recognize, whenever we're talking money, we have the dollar sign here, you might have your number, Period. Now, in math, this isn't called a period, we call this a decimal. So anything after the decimal, those are going to be called cents. Those are the small pieces that make the dollar. So when we're talking cents, once we reach 100 cents, that is one dollar. So all of these coins and cents we're going to be adding, once it equals 100, that means we're adding to that dollar side. So this is where place value is super important. So when I say place value, I like to use an H2 chart. Always start with the ones. The O stands for ones, T stands for tens, the H stands for hundreds. Now, because we're talking money, we're going to add a decimal right between the H and the T. Would be our decimal and anything after that would be our tens and ones, that's our cents. With our money today, we're gonna to be working on ones, tens, and hundreds. Coins are pretty much the ones and tens. Once it gets to the hundreds, that's when we start getting those dollar bills. But the way that we add money is very similar to the way that we would do double digit addition or subtraction. So let's go into our first example. So let's say I wanted to go get some snacks and I saw a candy bar I really wanted that cost 25 cents. But then I really wanted some gum so I could have some fresh breath afterwards and that gum cost 15 cents. So now I think I'm done shopping, but I want to see how much money that's going to cost. So I'm just going to add it just like I normally would. To help me out, I'm going to use my two chart. So I'm going to go to my O and my T. See O? Two. My O is for my one and my T is for my ten. So first I'm going to add my ones. What's five plus five? Five plus five equals ten. Don't forget to carry that one. Then I have two plus one equals three plus that other one equals four. Bring down that decimal, and now I know it's going to cost me 40 cents. So I might give her four dimes, 10, 20, 30, 40. I can also give her 40 pennies. How many nickels would I use though? How much were nickels worth again? A nickel is worth five cents. So if I wanted to see how many nickels I'd have to use to purchase that 40 cents, all I'd have to do is count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So how many nickels would I need? Eight. But for instance, what if I had two quarters? Two of my quarters, 25 plus 25, would equal 50 cents. So let's say I went to the cashier, I said, here are my items, here's my two quarters, 50 cents. She would then just subtract the 40 cents that I owe her and give me change back. So I would take this 40 cents, bring it right down here, but this time I'm going to be taking away because I gave her 50 cents and she needs to be able to subtract the 40 to know exactly how much change to give me back. So I'm going to take away 40. Don't forget your decimals. Zero minus zero, zero. And five minus four equals one. Don't forget your decimal. So that means she would give me 10 cents back. What is one coin that she could give me back that would equal 10 cents? A dime, you got it. Okay, so now that we've worked with the basic cents, I wanna show you guys how to carry over, which means we are turning those cents into dollars. So let's say we go to the movies and we're gonna share a popcorn. And one popcorn costs 75 cents. Don't forget your decimal for 75 cents. And then I want something to drink and that's gonna cost 25 cents. 
And I'm sure you want to drink too, so that's going to be another 25 cents. Now, because we're going to be putting those things all together, we're going to be adding. So we're taking that popcorn with my drink, with your drink, and find out how much it is together. My treat. So first, let's make our H2 chart. That way we are prepared and we make sure everything is in its right place value. So let's add, starting with our ones, always starting with our ones. So we have five plus five equals 10, plus another five equals 15. I can't just write 15 in my one section, so I'm gonna have to put my five here and then add one up here. I'm gonna say plus one. So that's my 110 plus five ones, 15. So I have seven plus two, seven, eight, nine, plus two, 10, 11. Don't forget that carried one up there. I like to put the plus one and circle it that way my eye does not forget it. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have my 12, my two was in my tens, but I need to add another plus one over here. But if I'm adding that plus one, we need our other column. Our other column is our hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds. So now, how many do I have in my hundreds column? One. So I'm gonna bring this one down here. So then we get 125. And this is not $125. This is 125 cents. But once we have 100 cents, that turns into $1. So the way we do that is we always make sure that our decimal, we either bring it directly down or just know that it always goes in between the hundreds and the tens. There's always two place values there after our decimal. So this really costs us $1.25. But let's say I didn't have any coins, I didn't have any change. I only had $2 bills. So, so if I go to the cashier and I give her $2, which is basically 200 cents, but our items only cost us $1.25. Cashier is going to take away the $1.25 in order to find out how much change she owes me back. So with this, let's make our H2 chart. Okay, so zero, take away five. Can I do that? I'm gonna have to borrow. So can I borrow from my neighbor? No, they're at zero too. So I'm gonna go to my two, take away. So now that turns into a one, and then this turns into a 10, but we need to borrow from that 10. So that's actually going to be a nine. And then I'm gonna add that one over here, making this a 10. So 10 take away five equals five. Nine take away two. I like to put the small number in your head, count to the big number, answers on your hands. We have two, we're going to nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Answers on our hands, how many do we have? Seven, so our answer is seven. Don't forget to bring down your decimal. And then one take away one, zero. So the cashier owes us 75 cents, which the quickest way would be three quarters. So those are all my money tips for today. Give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.